It is a very important day in American history. Today is Juneteenth, the day that we commemorate the legal end to slavery in the United States, and a museum in Philadelphia put on a special celebration. Our Natasha Brown is in our satellite center with that story. Natasha? Well, good evening to you. All day long today, visitors stroll through the African American Museum of Philadelphia for a museum wide celebration of Juneteenth. Many learn the history of this very important day with memorable and emotional reenactments. There's a flurry of activity here at the African American Museum of Philadelphia, a celebration of liberation on this, the 154th anniversary of Juneteenth, commemorating the abolition of slavery in 1865. Juneteenth is a celebration of freedom, of liberty, um, the, the ending of slavery. Uh, 1865, Galveston, Texas uh, was finally uh, notified that the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. They were the last to find out uh, after two years had already passed. Three means that we're from the third United States color troops. Young visitors were absorbing every word from Civil War reenactors representing the U.S. colored troops. Be careful with it. Getting a chance to see and feel a small part of one of the darkest eras in American history, all while celebrating its ending. I came to uh, show my grandchildren and one grandniece uh, what I didn't have an opportunity to see in my age, in her, at their age. Everything here they've, they've stayed focused on, they've asked questions about. Uh, so everything here is very interesting. There were arts and crafts, guided tours, and screenings, along with an unforgettable account of one slave's quest for freedom. Put me in the box. Now, here are the three holes in which I use in order for me to breathe. I was sent from Richmond, Virginia to Philadelphia. I'm here to gain as much knowledge as I can so I can pass it on to my five-year-old grandson. Visitors gaining and passing on knowledge, embracing history, the goal of this and every Juneteenth event. This is 154 years of this tradition, so I think, you know, that that makes it a true tradition. So it, it, makes, it makes sense to keep passing it on and to recognize, you know, what it stands for, um, to really give a day to think about our liberty and to remember that it was not always ours. Well, this evening there was also an outdoor drum and dance performance at the African American Museum. All of the programs were offered free with admission to the museum today, and there were plenty of visitors streaming through all day to celebrate Juneteenth. Live in the Sat Center, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Gaining and passing on knowledge. Natasha, thank you.